one of the things that uh, is brand new in 5.4 is the retargeting. If anyone doesn't know what that is, I'm sorry. But if you've basically, if you've got animation that's meant for one character, it's just meant for one character. It's not meant for all characters. Retargeting helps you take motion that was intended for one character and use it on other characters. This used to be a lot of work and is now not as much work. So uh, in 5.4, it's got, become even less work and now what we can do if we have a character and we have some animations in our scene um, for one character well all we need to do now is right click on the animation file go to retarget animations and you'll see this new dialogue pop up what we used to have to do here is create a whole bunch of in intermediate skeletons and make sure they matched each other and do a ton of work to make sure they were aligned and then we could translate the and save the animations for new skeletons um but this uh this character here that i've got um this uh i'm gonna in fact i'm gonna use our where do we have it the mannequin skeleton here so i've got um manny right here um, I'm going to use an animation that was meant that was from this pirate. So our pirate animations here. Um, let's take this walk in place one. I'm going to right click on it, go to retarget animations, and then um, the target that we're going to use is our pirate. Um, I want the pirate full 03. Where are you? We search for 03 full. So now I've got um, original mannequin skeleton and my pirate. And they're not the same. And what I want to do is make one animation that works for this character work for this character. As I said, it used to be tons of work. Now, all we need to do is, if it's a common skeleton, if it's like a Mixamo skeleton or a, a mannequin or the metahuman, um, any of the kind of standard skeletons, it knows about. So all you have to do is pick the source skeleton, destination skeleton. And then if you click on the animation, you'll see that uh, one animation that's meant for one character can now work for the other one. All you have to do is export the animations for that destination character and, and you will have all the animations that you brought in work for any of the characters that you've got in your scene way way less steps um uh yeah yes kyle ik bone retargeting took forever and was very error prone if you didn't know exactly what you're doing so this is a massive quality of life change for that um there's also some pretty cool stuff in uh, I think I've still got this window open. So I'm just going to close that one out. Um, so control rig is something for the rigging people, um, which also took a huge amount of time to build. You have to build every little control, match it to the bone, build all these solvers forwards and backwards. It's tons and tons of work. This uh, pirate character that I've got here is from the marketplace, doesn't have a control rig associated with it. And if I just go in and delete some stuff and hopefully don't crash, don't crash. Uh, I'm just going to delete some of this stuff out so I can show you from scratch. Delete a bunch of this. Probably should have done this before. Anyway, it would take me a couple of seconds just to delete all these little bits here. All right, so you start and you bring your character in. Um, this is our pirate, and this doesn't have a control rig on it. You used to have to build all these shapes, move them into position, snap the bones, build all the logic in the background to drive the rig, drive the skeleton with it. They've built this system, this modular system, so you can now literally drag these components over the top. So this this one here 
says suggests there's a spine bone there and it says i think you want the spine module so if you drag that over there now it builds that center section and it's revealed these um further extents up here so we've now got a neck so we can add our neck up there now that's built a neck and a head you sort of see the the head control at the top there and the neck control um, we've got left and right shoulders so if i drag my shoulders there and there and then my arms to there and there now you can see we've got like most of a rig already built and then down here we should have um, legs so we've got leg and it, you can see how it even colors the rig components so you've got all the red on one side and the blue on the other um, now we've got a uh, leg and the last bit would be foot i'm not going to do all the fingers but it really doesn't take very long to do fingers as well so now we've got our modular control rig if i just grab the controls you can see how now our character moves and it's got IK and all the IK switching. And uh, it's just mind blowing to me. I've spent a lot of my life like doing all of that very manually. Um, this is a uh, game changer. So now, now you've got this thing, you can actually animate this character. You can drag it, um, hit compile, and then you can drag it into your world right here. And then if you've got your um, your character here, you can just pose it in the world and you can set keyframes on it and you can animate it. And this used to take a very, 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 very long time. If you've never experienced that pain, you're lucky. Um, and uh, don't worry about it. Just enjoy all the new stuff. Um, one last little thing. Um, they seem to have got rid of the anti-aliasing problem that happened on footage, which is pretty cool for anyone that cares about um, compositing live action um that was a massive drawback um this little field of pointy things here um we've the motion design stuff that we've now got in let me, let me hide this so we can see it a little better sorry i'm just gonna hide that um bit of cluttered scene here but um we've got this kind of grid of things in here anyway and there's a um the motion design toolkit allows us to be able to do all sorts of cool animation stuff this effector that's in here is like a little volume that means that we can procedurally animate whole tons of things and work towards motion graphics and um all kinds of stuff as possible with that the very very crude little um set up here that I've got but as you can see you've got this shape um, moving through our scene um, affecting the positions of those little shapes and it could affect the orientation the scale and you can build up these really um, cool complex animations based on that's all very motion graphics-y stuff um, so just a few things there from 5.4 that I wanted to highlight um, just a few of the cool new things that I think are cool um, so that said 